Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today is Friday, February 8th, 2019. No, fuck man. It's like uh, as soon as January was over, everything just started uh, going back to regular light speed. <laughs> right? So much for so much for having a, 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 a slow, enjoyable year. Anyways. Alright, well, today we're on our way to El Centro. Um, you guys have been there a million times with me. So, um, we're just going to go there walking and talking as usual. Uh, what are gonna, what are we going to be talking about today? What are, what are we going to be walking and talking about? <laughs> I know, I kill myself. I'm hilarious. Um, well, today what we're going to be talking about is um, cost of living. We're going to do cost of living today, okay? Um, but we're going to do it like a little bit of a different... Um, in a little bit of a different perspective um so not just cost of living in general but also cost of living for um the typical person that lives out here so you know i, I keep I, a lot of people ask me you know living here you know that are mexican and a lot of people that, that are my viewers you know you guys you know you guys ask me you know um a lot of different questions about this stuff you know because a lot of people are like, oh yeah, but in the, you know, Mexican might say, like, yeah, the U.S. is more expensive. The U.S. might be more expensive, but at the same time, uh, you make a lot more. And so, well, with that same mentality, it's the same thing here. So things are cheaper here. They're a lot cheaper here, but then the typical Mexican makes a lot less. But how, how less? How much less is it that they make? That's the question, right? And so... I've already met all kinds of people here from all kinds of uh, different walks of life, you know, different, um, you know, what they do for a living and all that good shit. And um, I've always kind of wanted to ask them how much they make, but it's one of those fucking questions that I feel is very intrusive and very, um, uh, what you might call it, um, you know, uh, rude, you know, to be asking that kind of fucking question. So. It's been bothering me, and so like I obviously, you know, there's a lot of people in which I could ask this question of. Um, so, anyways, so the other day I think it was, I decided I decided to go online. I decided to go online real quick and just check out. I'm gonna put I'm gonna strap you guys to my head. I think it's gonna be a lot easier for me to talk. All right. So one second. what I was saying uh, need a few minutes hold on a second so oh yeah um, so how much does a typical Mexican make out here how much does a typical person out here make and so um, when I started investigating that it was man so much fucking noise man hold on. and it's early it's, it's early as fuck right now a lot of traffic up ahead. I think the traffic is because all these fucking cars are parked here. I think the school is letting out. That's probably what it is. Yeah, it was, it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. All right. Anyway, so like I was saying, so the typical salary out here is a. By the way, and I was pretty astonished. Is around 500 U.S. dollars. So you know, it, things do make a little sense because I pay 200 dollars for 200 USD for my place. And it's pretty cheap, you know, some people might pay a little more than that. So let's just say 200, 250, some shit like that. So a typical household might spend like 200, 250. Hey, what's up? Hola, como están? Um, it might be like, uh, <laughs> my, see, it's funny, like the kids, they love this shit. The kids, you know, love the vlogging. They get the whole YouTube shit. Shout out to you kids out there too, by the way. Everyone watching. All age groups, but yeah, man. The kids love this shit. So what was I saying? So they like the typical household might spend on rent and, and bills like around 250 US, maybe 300 US, but 250 US, give or take, all right? And then if like a typical salary, I'm just talking about medium salary, is around 500 USD, that means that they have half the salary spent on, on rent, sounds about right, give or take, and then half the rent. 
know half the other kind of money you know the rest of the money is for uh is for food and those other shit now the thing the thing out here that is really cool that i have noticed is that it's not like it's not like the U.S. where, you know, you're working like 20 hours a week and you got to get like 13 jobs and all that shit. And there's never any overtime. Alright, hold on. Maybe my hair. I think we're good, right? Alright. Um, out here, it's the opposite. Out here, like a typical, like a, any, any Mexican can work as many hours a week as they fucking want. Um, they a lot of them get overtime because I talk to a lot of people out here that do all kinds of jobs You know like actual labor jobs, you know jobs, you know labor delivery, whatever, you know And they get paid overtime all the fucking time. In fact, they, they fucking love it You know they're like oh, yeah, you know between this and my overtime. We're good to go, you know that kind of shit and so You know that makes sense again, you know, what I mean like again why one person one person can maintain a whole family Because it's like, um, you know, if, if let's say you're making in one job, let's say 500 USD, and then maybe you pick up 100 bucks, you know, give or take, that's pretty good. So, again, so in, in, a, in a larger household, you know, and I'm just talking about middle class out here. You know, in a larger household, you know, there'd be maybe two parents are working. You know, one of them is probably just working part time, and then they're they're fucking living large. If both parents are working, or both parents are professionals, dude, they're fucking living it. They're living it out here. So now, how much is like a person on the street to sell stuff, or a person in the market, or just like a typical underserved person makes here? Well, then what they make out here is like closer to like 250 to 300 USD a month so then that's when you see them living you know further away from here and they're in a fucking hut that they built for themselves you know a house that they built for themselves or um they live with a you know family and shit like that like almost everybody lives with you know all the girls lived with their you know with their parents especially if they're young and shit like that so but again this all goes back to, to the traditional values as well you know because if you you know it's uh it's not like the Americans values where in America you're 18 to kick you out the house. I know things have changed. I know things have changed with whole millennials and shit, but out here like a girl can't leave her house until she's like married or whatever, you know? So uh yeah, it's it's fucking loud as fuck today and, and then uh I don't know, I think it's loud every time I come here, but every time I go home and I check the audio, it's good. It's always good. So, fuck it. Now, what was I saying? Where was I? So, when it comes to the cost of things, you know, right now I'm on my way to the store to pick up some blunts. Back in the day, when I used to smoke, these blunts would cost me about 50 cents. Now, in the U.S., you know, the cheapest you're going to get them is like a dollar, a dollar something. Um, and so here, they're 50 cents. You know, when it comes to food, when it comes to everything. For example, a haircut. If I want to get a haircut here, it's anywhere between two to five dollars, just depending on how fancy I want to go, um, give or take. So, where the fuck are you gonna get a five dollar haircut back in the states? Um, you know, if you get a five dollar haircut back in the states, dude. You know, you already know what you're getting. Crap. So here, look. I'll give you a price. This is like a nice place. So look, a frappuccino. All right, you get two, two for 70 bucks. That's $3.50. This is fancy, fancy. Or you get like a waffle, all right, with two coffees for, look at that. This is just regular coffee. That's uh, the good coffee. So you see? My hair is all fucked up. See, I need a haircut. I need a, I need a, and like I used to grow my hair long and shit like that, but now I got my fucking hair all over the place. I feel like, uh, like a crazy person. I think that they're looking at my hair, not at my fucking, my camera. Could be both, but whatever. This is windy, so it's like fucking, you know, it's all over the place. All right, all right, where was I? So, you know, back to the cost, you know? Okay, so we're right here, you know, this place right here, it might not look like much, but at nighttime, they open up and it's a bar. It's a fucking bar and you can just fucking drink and walk and fucking, you know, the hostel's right there and, you know, hopefully you don't get hit by a car, but whatever, and there's bars, you know, up in here. Um, hotel. 
hotel bar. You feel me? Look. Dun, dun. See? And, you know, this is just... Uh, anyway, so what was I saying? So, yeah, so, like, at some bars, you know, like, um, there's this place called La, La Mezcaleria. It's not this way. It's somewhere else. I love that place. One of my favorite places. Um, see, look, here they're already complaining about the noise. They're like, please, you know, keep the noise down. Blah, blah, blah. Because it's already, again, genderified. You know, it's getting genderified. Um, I don't know. There's a business there. I don't know what they do. Might be another bar. Who the fuck knows? Might not be. But, um... Yeah, so anyways, at this place, La, La Mezcaleria, you can get um, two, um, you can get uh, two shots of mezcal, two shots of fucking mezcal, and one beer for 50 pesos, all right? So for 50 pesos, uh, for 50 pesos, you get, um, you know, two shots of, of really good uh, mezcal and a fucking beer. I mean, you can't beat that shit. So if you're there with a the date, you know, and you guys are fucking dancing and shit. I mean, that's like perfect. You know, you each take a shot. You share the beer while you're dancing. You go for the next one, the next one, the next one. Before you know it, you're you're fucking thanking the bartender for being the best bartender ever. Ah! So, you know, it's funny out here. Like the people, um, they tend to follow a little bit more of the traffic rules. You know, as they're walking pedestrians, because since here the you know, cars don't give a fuck and they'll run your ass over and keep going. It's a little different. So when I do like daredevil shit, like cross the street when I'm not supposed to, everyone looks at me like, what the fuck is this thing? Whoa, this guy's suicidal. <laughs> so. Yeah, man. Look. All right. See, look at my situation here. Look at this traffic. Look at this crap. Garbage guy has to show up here. Right. So... So, you know, things like the like those sodas that she, you saw she had there. So, like, a regular soda is, like, 50 cents. Um, look, that case of beer is probably, like... I want to say under 10 bucks. Under 10 bucks, for sure. You know? How's it going? So, What's going on today? And, um, you know, a bus ride, eight pesos, you know, it's 50, 40 cents, you know, 50 cents, give or take. By the way, I can't find my shoes anywhere. This is like a typical store out here. I've been to like all the stores and like they don't have my shoe size. So if you're like a 12 or bigger, you're not going to find your fucking shoe size out here. And plus, what the fuck are all these brands? I never, where the fuck is, uh, you know? So that's like every shoe store out here, bro. Not a real cop, I don't think. But anyways, the point is that it's it's hard to get shoes out here. Anyways, look, a gallon of water. Oh, that's the same price back home. Let me see. Look, a bunch of trinkets. So right now, you know, again, we're entering the tourist zone. Tourist zone. So things are going to be a lot more expensive out here. Things are going to be a lot more uh, expensive in this area. But again, not by much. Not by much. It just, um, it's just um, a little more expensive for obvious reasons. Look, I'm dying to go to this place. So this place is called uh, the Museum of Yucatecan Gastronomy. That's what it says there. So it's, it's a fucking restaurant that's also a museum um, with all like super crazy authentic food and they fucking... You know, they, they cook the food in like authentic ways, like in the middle of the restaurant or some shit like that. So I'm dying to go there. I'll keep you posted when I take, when I go. All right. And then, uh, yeah, so, you know, you know, the prices are just, you know, for the typical Mexican, they're, they're livable. Sure, they're expensive, but they're not ex extremely um, out of the way. They're just not, you know, they're, they're, um, by the way, it's dipping, dipping. Um, they're not like on another level of horrible, you know They're actually very affordable. So yeah, right now we're like again in the touristy area the tours A lot of people out today Fuck. I gotta start running man <laughs> 
so what was I saying so cost of food so even when you're coming to like a really expensive restaurant even when you're going to like a Sorry, sorry, just had to get by uh, the crowd of people there. So, um, what was I saying? So yeah, even when you go to a really expensive restaurant, like, you know, you're fucking going to like a five star or three Michelin star type restaurant out here, you're spending like, you know, give or take, you're spending like around 500 pesos, a thousand pesos, you know, and that's like 50 bucks. You know, a thousand pesos is like 50 bucks. So, let me see, there's no price on that there. But you see, like, I, I think certain things are already more, like when you know the prices, when you're, when you're already like living with the locals, and you see certain prices, you're like, yeah man, certain shit out here is expensive as fuck. God damn. Fuck. Anyways. I was looking at the price, man. I was just looking at that price, that's all. <laughs> Sorry. I fucking love it out here, man. So, what are we doing here? But yeah, this uh, it's a lot of fucking traffic out I here today. What yeah, what do you what do you what do you got? What do you got? Because I want everything. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> you my kind of guy. Anyway, so. <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? See, I would have busted out in Spanish, but since I was already fucking speaking English. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? I forgot. I gotta get a fucking comb. That's what I need. I need a comb. And I can't find... Combs are expensive here. I don't want to pay $3 for a fucking comb. When I know I, those things are probably like 50 cents, you know? Get the fuck out of here. Is there like a shortage on combs out here? More traffic in the... More traffic on the sideways, bro. Anyways. Alright. I've already shown you the theaters, I've already shown you some of this shit out here. Let me see. So what was I saying? So yeah, about the prices, you know, so things are going to be a little more expensive here. I feel, I always bring you to the wrong place, man, to show you prices. Alright, so today we're going to go straight towards the... Uh, towards the park and we'll hang out in the park and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I gotta do out here but yeah so you know um, I keep getting questions I keep getting questions from from all kinds of people look at the horsey all right um, so I keep getting questions so yeah um, when you want to go inside like even like um any kind of museum or any kind of one of these places you're you're at the at the most you're paying like uh like five dollars sometimes it's only like one dollar but anywhere between one to five dollars to get inside a fucking museum i think that's pretty fucking reasonable and, you know i think anyone can afford that kind of shit and then, and then there's so many fucking things like this there's so many places like this that are just free free for everybody I think my hair is all fucked up. I don't think it's my hair. Whatever, who cares? Shoe shine people. There's kids. There's all kinds of people here. And uh, yeah, this is a fucking beautiful place, man. Like it's it's hot, but it's not like insanely hot. Um, I guess it's only because I come from Florida, where it's fucking death. And so out here is just this is like paradise, you know, like literally like paradise weather. So it's not it's not horrible. It's just doable. Let me see, I gotta find somewhere to sit. All the fucking, all the shades taken. Look at the birds. All right. These fucking birds can be lethal. But I can see, I can see how people can be scared of birds out in the United States, man. They're a crazy thing. But you see, you gotta do like the dogs, you know, you gotta show your dominance and just fucking go straight at them. Either bird alpha. Let's hang out here for a bit. Alright, hopefully my hair is not too fucked up. So Nah, we're good then. So yeah, so you know when it comes to like the cost of living out here, it's it's doable. So you know, since I since I got here myself, um if you guys followed my whole story, um I I got I came out here for 
for like around uh, 1,500 US. So that's all I had to my name, 1,500 US and just all my shit. And then I just came out here uh, on, a, on a whim. It's a longer story than that, but that's, 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 that was my story there. I did that and I survived. Um, and how was I able to survive? You know, because now after I've been here a while and I started doing the calculations a little more and all this other shit. Hold on, it's hot. Always carry one or one of these around. All right. Because again, even though I'm used to the heat, it's it's still like a good 92 degrees, you know, give or take. You just walk the fucking mile, give or take. So, whatever. Good exercise, you know. It's good to get some sun, vitamin D. The act, the sun D. All right, you perverts. So, oh here, look, here come the birds. Right. Yeah, you know, we're all gonna come this way. So, um. Yeah, when it comes to the the cost of living, <laughs> so when it comes to the cost of living out here, um, I was living on literally, I was barely surviving at like around 400, 500 bucks, and I was still like in the American mentality of spending and all this other shit, and um, I was able to make it, I was able to make it, you know, and I was just thinking, you know, and I'm, I'm minimalist and I, you know, live poor back in the States, but even though I was making it with just like a four or five hundred bucks give or take you know maybe it was a little more um i was still i was i was eating like a champ i was fucking like living life i was enjoying things and i was like holy shit and now that i do the calculations i'm like oh fuck okay so at, at my minimum at my minimum i'm making because you know i make money off the my what i do for a living like not, not youtube other shit but you know, when I started doing the calculations now, recently, I'm like, oh shit, so me coming here and barely having a fucking... Sorry, I just want to see if I can get all the birds, you know? Um, but me coming here, I'm just barely having an income, you know, just like around four or five hundred bucks a month. You know, that was already like what the typical Mexican makes out here. So now that I'm kind of like doing a little better, um, now I'm doing a little better and so on and so forth. And so that that's really interesting. So no wonder like any American coming out here would like just, you know, regular means you, you're good you know if you if you can fucking like off it if you're fucking living out of your car if you're a little shit i'm like i hit a fucking bird in the head um literally <laughs> if you've already fucking like lived that kind of fucking life then um you know you'll be good you know you'll be good you know you'll be able to fucking survive out here no problem you know a lot of that's how people do already out here so if you come out here and you're like a couple you come out here and you have a couple more bucks you know give or take you know, you'll be doing fucking good. Oh man, I can I can feel the birds flapping behind me. I don't even want to know how close they are. All right, man. All right, let me let me get out of this part. I feel like I'm gonna get raped by one of these birds. Anyway, so let's just hang out over here. Let's start ending this thing. Okay, so yeah, I see we're running long. So, um. Yeah, guys, you know, I hope I hope today's video was informative. I hope it, was, it, it helped shine a light on a few other, you know, questions that you guys might have. Um, that's why um, I'm able to survive out here in so little. Because, you know, because the fucking reality is it, it doesn't really, it, it doesn't take that much money to fucking have a really good quality of life out here. It just really doesn't. And, um... Anyone can fucking do it, you know. That's why if you're, you know, retired and you come out here with uh, a few hundred, uh, you know, like whatever your retirement is or your pension, you know, eight hundred, a thousand dollars, give or take, you know, you're living really comfortably. Um, that's that's kind of why it is. Um, but then at the same time, you see why there's people that come from this country or other countries that that do want to go to the U.S. But then, you know, you know, again, it's all about quality of life. So here, and in most places around the world, people care more about quality of life than having money and possessions. You know, in China, in the US, you know, they care more about money and possessions in Europe. And so that's why things are the way they are over there. But in other parts of the world, they care more about quality of life. So when people, you know, that's why you see a lot of less immigration going over there because, you know, now, you know, people are realizing that, yeah, you can make more money in the US, but the quality of life is like, you know, you're killing yourself. So what do I do that? Just come out here and you can, you know, help build, you know, your, your motherland or what have you, you know, your, your homeland. And, um, and when it's, it's more and more and, and every day that passes there's more and more opportunities out here more more people are making money um, and it's not just the city I'm talking about the whole the whole country um, all of Latin America and so on and so forth so yeah guys uh, things are changing and um, that's why I keep encouraging a lot of people to start coming out here 
not here, but like all over, you know, start leaving and start traveling. And uh, before it's too late and you can't, before it's reversed and it's, you know, gonna cost you too much or you're not gonna be able to have enough to leave and, and do that. Um, do it while you can. And um, yeah, you know, again, if you guys have any more questions on any of this stuff, please feel free to, you know, comment down below. Um, ask me any questions, you know, hit me up on Discord, hit me up on, you know, social media, everywhere. You already know where to find me and we can go from there. Um, I love making these videos. I love showing you guys around. If there's anyone from Mexico that's watching these videos and uh, would care to comment below on, on salaries or, you know, on prices and all this other shit, please, by all means, uh, help help everybody out. And, um, and I hope it answered a bunch of questions. And again, and I hope it also opened up a lot more questions that you guys might have about, you know, not just living in, well, you know, living in Mexico, because that's where I live, but even living abroad, okay? So, all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here today, as always, as usual. Um, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please, please don't forget to be awesome. Have an awesome time. Enjoy your weekend. Have an amazing, 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 amazing weekend. An amazing uh, next week. Sorry, I got a little distracted. Uh, you don't want to. Uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, guys. Peace out, and I'll see you motherfuckers. Uh, next week. Yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday. I forgot. Um, I'm going to be having some fun this weekend. I hope you guys do as well. Thanks, man. Bye.